All right, here we are. So what I like to do here is aim about six rings from the edge. As you can see, I'm doing maybe about three and a half on the top spin, like this. And other than that, I'm essentially going to go one per ring. Making sure that I don't add any extra power on the curl. And just doing the max curl. And that's the reason that I basically do the six, the, um, you know, the six rings from the edge is it allows me to essentially perfectly do a max curl shot. So that's why I like to do that. Of course, you'll have to make sure that your curl attribute is the same as mine. But with the key, with the QB10, you know, it has the max curl capability, which is, I think, in the 80s somewhere. But uh, as you can see, no real, no real need for length on this hole. So basically, you'll just see that uh, I'm going to just lay up here with the most accurate clubs that I can, as opposed to going for, uh, you know, an extra mile shot or Thor's hammer, apocalypse. There's no, there's no use for that. If I can so easily get over here, you know, I, I even outdrove my opponent. So do keep that in mind. And you can see what I'm doing with my ball guide here. Trying to play just a little bit of that wind effect there. And I'm thinking somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe 7.5-ish rings here. I'm not quite at max. Thinking right about there. Perfect ball. And let's see how this comes in. Pretty good overall, but just off. So you'll just want to hone in on that uh, ball guide offset. And, you know, hopefully you guys can master that and get that one to fall. So good luck there with that hole. And I will see you guys on the next one.